Hi everyone, it's Sue Ellen from 360 Girls and Women. Today I'm in the kitchen and I'm making something very delicious. March is National Nutrition Month and according to the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, the theme is personalize your plate. So I'm gonna personalize my plate Jamaican style. So watch as I show you the meal I'm gonna prepare today. All right, so on the menu today for National Nutrition Month, personalize your plate Jamaican style, I'll be making a stew peas. And first, you absolutely need to get your kidney beans ready. You have to prep them by putting, soaking them in water overnight or for at least two to three hours. I used about three cups of beans and I soaked them in water, threw the water out, and then I added them to my pot. And I'll show you that in a second what it looks like. I used one onion, I used scotch bonnet pepper, this is a must to give it flavor, and I used one whole um, garlic, a few sprigs of thyme, thyme is very important as well, and it gives flavor, and um, a lot of people from Jamaica, my, my country, we use thyme in all, almost all of our meals. Um, and then I also did something a little different, added some tomatoes, about like a half a cup of tomatoes and I sliced them. So next I'm going to show you what the pot looks like. Alright, so in my pot I have the kidney beans that have been cooking for about 45 minutes. I used two and a half cups dry beans and doubled the amount of water. The onions are here and the scotch bonnet is also here and the thyme is right here. So I let this cook so that the beans are somewhat tender, not too tender, and it's a pretty much ready as you can see. The beans are soft. And so now it's time for me to put the dumpling in, and I'll show you how I make that. All right, so the peas are on the pot cooking, and in the process, I'm gonna make those spinners or the dumplings. And you're gonna need two and a half cups flour, um, you could mix brown and white flour if you want. I'm also going to add some salt, salt to taste. I use kosher salt. And you're going to need a bowl because you're going to combine, pretty big size bowl because you're going you're gonna to combine everything together um, with water. And I'm going to use about three cups of water to start with and I'm going to stir it and show you what the consistency should be like. You could add additional flour in case you need to make it a little firmer and keep stirring. Now we're going to knead the flour. Then you're going to just break off a piece Then you're going to roll and spin. Roll. And there you have it. These are spinners. Then take another piece. And you're gonna roll. If it gets a little sticky, then you grab a little more flour and then you roll. All right, next you wanna just roll the dumplings to get them a little smooth. I use a cutting board for this. As you can see, it's a little smoother. These are the ones that I rolled with my hands. And I'm just gonna roll it back and forth on the cutting board to give it a little smooth consistency.
All right, so our final product is finish. Stew peas with spinners. We have the scotch bonnet pepper on top and a little time to decorate. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my plate. I have some veggies and I have rice with it. You could put uh, whatever combination you like, but like I said, it's National Nutrition Month, so I'm personalizing my plate Jamaican style. And one of our dishes is stew peas, rice, and a little bit of vegetables. And this is a vegan plate, so typically, um, in Jamaica, some people like to add meat in their stew peas, but it is just flavorful without it. And here you have it. Take care and enjoy your rest of your month. Keep it healthy. Keep it simple. Signing out from 360 Girls and Women. Bye.